Hello, welcome to Jesper Tarot. This is going to be reading on Mr. Ryan Upchurch. All right, I'm just going to do the cards right now and then I'll plot this video on top. But welcome everyone and thank you for joining me. Again, this will be for Ryan Upchurch. Hello, welcome. Let's look into Ryan Upchurch for his ego and his self image dealing with his first house. Um, we have a healthcare change and new and fresh. What I see here is I, he's feeling good. <laughs> Ryan feels good about himself. He feels fresh. He feels rejuvenated, alive, maybe a little fun and flirty. And it's a healthcare change, but I would say it's a good, like, that's a good spirit. I would say he's in good spirits. He's feeling refreshed and nude. At least it's, that's how he feels about himself. That's how he views himself. Like, he's made good changes for his health. And he's fresh and he's new. He feels like, you know, alive. It's a good, good way to feel about yourself. In his second house, dealing with his current economic affairs, we have an open your eyes, an awakening, and family changes. Hmm. Maybe. Well, I, I do know that um, Miss Patty, I believe, recently kind of, I don't know, retired or stepped down or away from... Um, the responsibilities that she carried, but maybe there were other like family employees as well. I'm I'm not sure, but it, and I could even be wrong about that. I'm not sure if she was a manager or what she did. You know what I mean? But she assisted him in some way, and I I know that more recently she had stepped down. So he's opening his eyes and he's aware of some things as far as his economics. He's had to make some changes. Um, you know, it sucks. Maybe he's had to let go of someone who like is family or at least feels like family, you know, because that's kind of, I, I feel that's kind of the person he is. Family is who you make of it. And sometimes it's not blood. All right. In your third house, Ryan has in whatever. <laughs> in the third house, which represents communication, the house of communication. Um, we'll see here. What's he talking about? What what's going on? We have centered and serene. So Ryan, he not only thinks well of himself, but we have you're stronger than you know. So there's something that he has to talk about that he'll be talking about and communicating about. Um, but it'll bring him peace. But it's going to be challenging. There's something that needs to be spoken that's challenging. And I say that because you wouldn't have to be strong if it wasn't a challenge. So uh, in order to find the tranquility and peace, there's going to be some hurdles um, coming up for Ryan. It could, I'm going to say it could have to do um, with money. Just because there's like a penny up here. There's also a crossroads there. and. That could just mean like there's a, it, he has to make some decisions in order to find this peace. So he may, be, I would say he's going through, he's going to be talking about some challenges or he needs to talk to someone about his challenges, <laughs> but he's going to be talking about it. You know, that he's, that he's strong, um, probably stubborn. Uh, that's just part of being country though. <laughs> you know, I don't know. All right, let's just move on to the, to his fourth house and this is the, his home didn't he recently just um move right he moved into a new home bits and pieces folks i got bits and pieces realizations and epiphanies confrontation and smiling through the conflict so something popped up at some or hasn't i don't know if it has or you know will at all this is just a picture card this is what i see coming up for Ryan up church and what I see here you know smiling through the conflict there's there's realizations in epiphany so he's you know man so there's a little friction on the home front or about the home or whatever whatever he considers home um 
and he just kind of like has to tough it tough it out but you know coming to terms with things that's a that's a like realization and epiphanies aha moments but that's realizations where you come to accept things and then there you know obviously here there's it seems like bickering you know bickering like someone's really on down his neck and he, I, we have a wounded warrior up here like do you see that I, i'm just saying somebody's healing and with the blind is that a blindfold man be nice if i could freaking see oh no see it's just curly hair <laughs> i thought the person was blindfolded uh like he didn't see something coming that's whatever i was going with that but all right, I'm blind as a bat over here. All right, we're gonna go into the SEX life, and it looks like Ryan's gonna have a windfall of luck in in, in entertainment. We have we have the windfall card here, and this you know represents luck and and entertainment and the SEX and the worst is over. And these were both in, in reverse, but whatever. They're picture cards and oracles he's moving on he's going in the right direction we have a course of action and resolve so it is the chariot card so there's like smooth forward movement you know go movement you're moving along you're you're going you're it, he may have to rest up if he's getting a lot of sex <laughs> i'm just saying like he it, they someone may be putting it down i'm i'm he's getting a lot of it it's that or you know luck well that is getting lucky anyhow there's been a, a change of course there's a change of direction going um as far as luck and that sort of energy the sex okay gotta play ads <laughs> anyhow moving along into ryan's sixth house we have his future and it says get some rest now <laughs> ryan <laughs> you've been laying it down up here you know but this is a different kind of rest this is this is your sixth house and this is dealing with your future um finances economic situation and it's telling you that it's a time for recovery you know basically it's get some rest and seeking tranquility so you you know here you are awakening opening the I'm saying you again. Open here. Ryan is opening his eyes. He's having some family changes. I don't know. Is there a baby on the way or what? I'm not sure. But I do know that there's been some changes within the family as far as mom um, stepping down from position. But that's about it. Um, get some rest, meditation, seeking tranquility. So you, if like I would say that this is Ryan taking a break. Maybe you won't be. I don't, I don't know if he tours or is he, he's in the studio or whatever, but he could be taking a break, um, maybe a little vacay so he can, you know, gain some peace of mind. I think vacay for Ryan's probably going playing in the mud and I don't know, shooting clay ducks or something. Go, go blow some, blow off some steam and, you know, whatever it is, I, Ryan's creative. So I'm sure he's got, uh, thousand and one different things that can occupy his time and bring him peace but this is about that what truly brings him inner peace so he should find whatever that is and you know prayer and meditation just whatever it is that can relax he needs to relax and which for me falling upon his future economic affairs lets me know that he needs to take a break from working take a break because there's been some changes and it's an adjustment period so give yourself a rest and you know from work go play a little bit play hard there we go all right we'll move into the seventh house which i was not happy to see this at all however it's just a picture card uh, it's the seventh house is dealing with relationships and marriage. Hmm. All right, so we have welcome the new. 
Is this a new baby, though? Ryan, are you knocking boots up here that you're... I don't know. If, I know it's relationship and marriage, but it says guardianship, kindness, and caring. Um, however, you could be welcoming a new love. And they, you know, be kind. They, they would be kind. But when I see this, I look at Andy and it looks like he's looking at a baby. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it looks like a nurturing, like, a, you know, with guardianship. Either they're going to spoil you like your baby <laughs> or like someone new or this is you spoiling someone new. It could be like, I mean, I don't know. Are you getting a puppy? You having babies? You're knocking some boots. I mean, that's clear as day. You said get some rest. Give it, give it a break. <laughs> you know, uh, take a ride. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, all right, we'll move into the eighth house. This is dealing with Ryan doesn't know. You know, I mean, it's, it's subconscious. So these would be things that could be nudging him in some sort of way. How many freaking ads do you need? It's copyright free music. Jeez moving and guidance follow the leader so ryan may be moving in a different direction i don't know he just bought a i'm not bought built right build a home or bought a home whatever for his lady hmm. he may be feeling nudged some he may be seeing watching someone you know how he's taking a new course of action and and things he he may be watching someone either from a distance or someone that he respects because he wouldn't just follow anyone, but someone may be directing him for a move, um, you know, in, or kind of guiding and leading him in a way that's saying it's time to make a move and go in a, in a new direction. This isn't what he sees yet, you know. But I feel like this is that inner gnawing since it's like the subconsciously he knows he needs to make a move, but he may or this could even be him leading other people to make a move. Like there's something with these cards that would indicate that, you know, someone, somewhere, something. All right. Oh. Let's move into Ryan's ninth house. I don't know what to say there. Like, it's kind of plain as day. You know, it's the sign of Scorpio. Ruling planet Mars and Pluto. But, so you are. Some, I don't know if this is him leading or, I think it's, it feels like it. But it doesn't have to be him leading someone. Like, him leading. It could be him following. But. We'll see how that plays out. If it plays out at all. Um, emotion, seeking, and finding gossip. This is his reality and what he manifests. So, love. You know, healing. Well, not healing, but like raw realness. And then we have gossip, seeking, and finding. So, you manifest. <laughs> you, Ryan manifests like, you know, a lot of talk. You know, people like to. Like, here I am doing a reading. People like to gossip, you know. That's a thing. I, I was drawn to this. Whatever whatever this is here may mean something. I was, I was drawn to that corner of the card when I pulled this. I was, true, confess. So I, is that Joan Crawford? Um, like true confessions. It just got a pin literally stuck through her forehead. <laughs> uh, true. Con so someone's talking crap, but you're manifesting whatever you seek, you'll find. And if you're if you're looking for gossip, you you'll you'll find that too. <laughs> you know, um. But you're in touch with your emotions. So he, he's really getting in touch with his emotions. And that's what he's manifesting. You know. But also a lot of talk. Alright. 
Did I not throw it down up there? <laughs> Apparently not. I've got two down here. All right, so we have memories in his 10th house, and we're going to clarify the memories. This is the social standing, and I would say that people miss you. Have they? Has Ryan not been out and seen, like, on stage or performing? I'm sorry, folks. I, I suck at this. <laughs> Trying to get the audio. Sorry about that. Let's clarify memories. What is, we have lack of resources. So people see that Ryan's like tired and indecision on the fence. Okay, so what's going on, Ryan? A thing of the past, like, you know, um, with memories and then indecision on the fence. This is how others are viewing him and depleted. They see that he's tired and can't, you know, on the fence about something, not making a decision. And I would say as a social standing and being memories, it's almost like the social standing is like they miss you. Um, they miss seeing you. And they're undecided and tired. Undecided and tired is the social standing. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. All right, we'll move into his friends. This is the 11th house, okay? This is his friends. The ruling planet is Uranus, and it represents the sign of Aquarius. We have self-care. So, your friends want... Uh, your friends, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ryan's friends would like him um, to take care of himself. That's, that's how the friends... These are like true friends, okay? These aren't these aren't the social. This is the social aspect. This is the me's and the you's and the the YouTubes and the I don't know the twits, the tweets, the all the all the what's snaps, all that. That's that's that. But here we are. Like this real friends want him to take care of himself people who truly get down with Ryan and know him and they see the abyss the uncertain future okay and reaching the top wow your friends want you to take care of yourself maybe because you're burning out trying busting bottom to rise to the top to stay on top let's 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 keep it <laughs> where it's at to stay on top but they're concerned about ryan um you know the great unknown the uncertain future free falling and reaching the top take care of yourself in the process they don't they what your friends are saying just don't let it get you down and burn you out take care of yourself now ryan's enemies oh it's weird religion and spirituality this would only make sense to ryan because i don't know who his enemies are it's even hard to believe that he has enemies because even the folks that he trolls are not true enemies now i'm sure there's folks uh, everybody's got enemies we all make a couple along the way and at his level of success I'm sure he's bought a few along the way, you know, gained a few, I should say. And then we have decisions. So his enemies are deciding something about religion and spirituality. What? It sounds more like my weirdo friends over here than, you know, whatever. We have egg on your face. They want to see Ryan fall. They're 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 watching. What is going on? Because his friends want him to take care of himself, and his enemies are praying for him to decide to what 
they're waiting for him to fall and decide to what? Decide to what? Enemy, what do you want? What? What are you deciding to do? And who who are you? Do you look like this skippy dude up here? Is this what you look like? I'm curious. Why? Why? What is wrong with these people? They're just waiting to watch Brian fall. They're praying for it. You know, I'm like, how does religion? And like, that's weird, you know. But then yeah, you think about it. They're praying for his downfall. What are the decisions, though? Like, what are they deciding to do? Are they going to throw something his way? Whether that's, you know, um, weird people. Or are they just deciding? What are they decide? What are these decisions? I want to know. Give me tarot. Give me tarot. Oh, wait, where's tarot? Good Lord. That's exactly why I don't use tarot. <laughs> like, let me see what's going on for Ryan. I just want to clarify. What is this decisions? Because it's the enemies, you know, like enemies. And then I'll throw a couple of tea cards because I got about 10 minutes with this. Before Clip Champ decides to shut me off and I have to start another video. Okay, it's work related, it's money related. And this is a repetition. This is repetition. There's a repetitive pattern. So, whatever, this is just your enemies, just this is what they do. But the decisions are about money. Their work decision. So you have enemies in the workplace, of course. And I'm feeling this one here. They could be a water sign, but whatever. It's a mature male. And and we have another decision card. So it's an older gentleman. Uh, he's fair-skinned. Uh, lighter eyes and hair it's not through the picture though this is just representative of this particular uh, let's see there's there's the decision and the awakening about money but this is them making decisions what are they doing it's about money and it's a it's a it's an older male. Yeah, I call gender around here. I'm not like, oh, it's the energy of no, that's a man. Okay. That's what I have for well, let me pull some tea cards since I still have time. That was a weird reading. That was weird. Now I gotta go watch watch content to see. I'm already subscribed to Ryan, but like I I don't really I don't know. I don't think I've tune in i don't i think he took a break <laughs> like i don't i don't know i think he took a break when he moved you know the internet wi-fi all of that he stopped music whatever i'm too old to care <laughs> you know like, let me see look it's man number two that's that's this this is this isn't ryan is what i'm saying this is this is another man. And like I said, it's a man. It is a man. All right. There's a man. <laughs> What's he doing to Ryan? Look, he may get you drunk. We have the King of Cups and we've got the wine. Right? This man may be an alcoholic or try to sway you, schmooze you, schmuck you, romance you in some kind of way. What is this about? Somebody, where are these enemies? Somebody, somebody's gonna try to get over on Ryan. Um, but that's that's his every day, right? Like, I mean, that's that's every day. Let's see. Who's? Why is this guy trying to finesse him? For what? Look, money. I'm telling you, it's it's the scales. We've got justice. We've got. I mean, not justice. We've got judgment. But it's the scales. We've got decisions twice concerning the enemies. It's fallen on the enemies. But then we have we have judgment with the decisions. We've got the scales with judgment and decisions. It, is this dealing with... Is this... Ryan, do you have enemies because of the true crime thing? No, I'm just kidding. 
which I mean, it's true. <laughs> it could be that the scales are about balancing things out. Somebody, some, but I see, I'm going to see this as like some, somebody's just trying to smooth them. I'll take one more. One more for Ryan. Balance, justice, a man. This could also be lawyer. <laughs> could be a dinner date. Butterfly. Changes, but the butterfly could be would could be significant to him in a way that it is not to me. I don't see it on any of these cards, though. But that would be change, you know, the whole butterfly changes, changes. So I don't really know. So I'd say he's taken flight. Wine makes you a little flirty. Romantical. Getting in up there. Some form of justice. Something needs to be balanced out. And it could be this finances. You know, like, I don't know. People, finances are coming up. And I don't even have tarot out on the car out here. But, I mean, it did come up in the, the couple of cards that I pulled. But it's here on this one. And it's there, and it's in the scales. So, and judgment. What's the judgment about? It could be. It it could just. This could literally just be like the change, and you know, uh, justice. You know, the courts and things of that nature. And if you know anything about Ryan Upchurch, you know that like. He spends a good portion of his days, you know, in court. And that's what I have for Ryan Upchurch. Okay. If you've made it this far, please consider to subscribe and like the video and all that jazz. Bye.